welcome back to another video so as you can tell by the thumbnail we are going to be talking about vintage Dooney and Burke yes vintage Dooney and Burke I was on YouTube and I was watching Mo Knows Beauty if you haven't seen her channel please head on over there she gives great reviews I mean really thorough and detailed reviews on a lot of purses but mostly Dooney and Burke Mo, I want you to know that you have made me go into my closet and pull out my old Dooney and Burke items. I have fallen back in love with Dooney and Burke and hopefully I'll be making a purchase soon. All right, y'all. I'm not exactly sure of the name of this watch. I've seen a couple of different names online. I've seen H.U. Pop. I just called it the Dooney and Burke Signature Multicolored Heart Watch. I purchased this back in February of 2005. Yes, I still have the original warranty card. I also have the receipt and the tag that came on the watch. This watch retailed for $135. Let me get it focused so you all can see it. I paid $135 for this watch. And I thought it was worth every penny. I still love the watch to this day. Right here, I'm just showing you the original receipt where I purchased her from Dillard's. Yes, I kept the receipt after all of these years. With tax, she was $141.75. I think what made me fall in love with this watch was I was a fan of the multicolor Dunienberg signature logo, period. I just thought the different colors in the DB was so cute and eye-catching. Um, like I said, my band has faded, so I do want to try to replace that. I still have the original packaging. As you can see, I kept everything. Got my little proof of purchase still on the vintage packaging. And the pink Swarovski crystals, that just really caught my eye. And I think that's just overall what made me fall in love with it. It was just a cute, trendy-looking watch then. And... I had to have it. So here I am trying it on. Ugh, just looking at that band, how it was faded. That really upsets me, but no worries. I'm going to try to find a replacement for it. And let's give you an up-close view. She is so pretty. She just needs a new band and a new battery. And this watch will be back in business. If anybody knows the exact name of this watch, please comment down below. Next up, I have the tassel zip top. Um, I was looking for information inside of the bag, and luckily I did keep the stickers inside on my purse. And this is the HW73QB1 in black and gray canvas signature zip top. This bag has seen a lot of wear. I used to carry this bag to death, y'all. Um, I don't think it's in too bad of condition. Um, no tears, no stains on it. Um, the little tassels on the side, as you can see, I am missing one. So I don't know if I can actually get that replaced. I have to reach out to Dooney and Burke about that. Um, this was a great bag, a just great everyday bag. As you can see, I did wear her a lot. Um, there is definitely some wearing on the handles there. Um, but if this bag could talk, oh boy, we had a lot of good times together, and I just really enjoyed carrying this bag. I actually think I'm going to clean her up because I have not cleaned her and I'm going to start using her again, y'all. It's just a classic bag, and I'm just glad I pulled her back out. Now I'll be showing you the tassel tote satchel. The number on this bag is H048KBN. OMG, what can I say? I think this was my favorite Dooney and Berg bag. I really enjoyed wearing this bag. This is a big one right here. As you can see, I need to put something on the tassels to get them to stay down, but that's an easy fix. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Um, a great bag, still in good condition. Um, I'm going to give you a full view of the bag. Look at her. She is such a beauty. I need to clean her up and start using this one too. OMG, I forgot how much I really love this bag. Um, but um, there's definitely some wear on the handles. Let me show you a closer view. See, yeah, I took this bag out a lot too. 
this is definitely one of my favorite Dooney and Burt bags. This bag did come with a long strap, so you could wear it as a crossbody. I have no idea what I did with the strap. I really need to go dig in my closet and see if I could possibly find that strap because I'm really into wearing crossbody bags right now. And if I was out and about shopping, I would wear this bag as a crossbody. I have no idea what I did with the strap, y'all, but I'm sure I could buy a strap and put it on there. But um, again, this is the tassel tote satchel and the brown... I guess you would call it tan canvas signature Dooney and Burke line. This is a classic and I will definitely be using her in the future. Last but not least, this is the multicolor signature Dooney and Burke bucket bag number H35329969. This bag was also purchased in 2005. This is the canvas coated bucket bag um if i don't have that correct please comment down below and let me know when i pulled this purse out of the closet and saw the discoloration i was really hurt um this purse and the watch are the only two products that i have purchased from dooney and burke that did this i was told it's because the it's the coated canvas leather like i said before if i'm not saying it correctly please comment down below and let me know um I will not purchase any other bags that are canvas coated um, like this or this type of material in the future. Um, I'll just stick with the regular leather bags. Um, I used to love this charm. Look at that charm, y'all. It was so cute in the detail on it. I just love this bag. The blue trim on the leather, it just made it pop and stand out even more. I'm not sure why um, they're bags that are made like this turn. I had also bought my mom a black uh, multicolored Dunienberg bag. And her bag did the same thing like the watch. It faded. Um, her bag was black and it looks like an ash on it. And no matter what you do... It just doesn't seem to come back to it to its natural state. So again, I really loved this bucket bag. Heartbroken that it turned like this, but the good news is I did reach out to Dooney and Burke, um, let them know what had happened, and they have agreed for me to send the bag back to them. So this week I'll be mailing the bag back. All right, everybody. So I just wanted to come on and show you all my vintage Dooney and Burke collection. These pieces still mean a lot to me. So I wanted to show them off. I can't wait to let you all know what customer service tells me once they receive this vintage bucket bag. I will keep you all informed about that. If you have any tips on cleaning these canvas bags and restoring them, please, please, please comment down below. And also remember, if somebody knows the exact name of this watch, comment below. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. No, I'm really just